Um, we have Safoy Braham, legislative aide to the commissioner, Maxwell Chambers, and I'm calling her up to read proclamation. Can you please give her a round of applause? Good evening, everyone. All protocols observed. Proclamation, Marcus Garvey Appreciation Day, August 17, 2022. Requested by Roots Foundation Incorporated and Commissioner Maxwell B. Chambers. Whereas, Marcus Messiah Garvey was born on August 17, 1887, in St. Anne's Bay, Jamaica, and emigrated to the United States 106 years ago in 1916. And whereas, Marcus Garvey established the Universal Negro Improvement Association and African Communities League as a means of uniting and uplifting the downtrodden masses of black people and as a means of giving them a sense of purpose pride and positive self-identification. And whereas, Marcus Garvey is recognized as the first and leading national hero in his native Jamaica and is also recognized as a hero by the Organization of American States. And whereas, Marcus Garvey was a patron of the arts, a publisher and a journalist, who contributed to the cultural rebirth of African descendants in America through the Harlem Renaissance and in Jamaica through the UNIA's Liberty Hall in Kingston. And whereas Marcus Garvey deserves to be recognized internationally as the great godfather of Black Lives Matter and as a great patriot in the allied struggle for Pan-African liberation. And whereas the City of Miramar Commission expresses our support and efforts being taken by the Garvey family to secure a presidential exoneration for Marcus Garvey in order to clear his name of the alleged crimes that he did not commit. And whereas in commemorating the 135th anniversary of Garvey's birth, the Roots Foundation Incorporated is partnering with the city of Miramar to host the 2022 Marcus Garvey Roots Extravaganza at the Miramar Multipurpose Center on Wednesday, August 17, 2022. Now, therefore, I, Wayne M. Messam, Mayor of the City of Miramar, and behalf of the City Commission, do hereby proclaim Wednesday, August 17, 2022, Marcus Garvey Appreciation Day. In the City of Miramar, and urge all residents to join the City Commission in remembering Marcus Garvey for his determination to secure liberty and justice for African descendants in the United States, the Americas, the Caribbean, and worldwide. Yes, Roots Foundation would like to thank the City of Miramar, Mayor Messam, and Commissioner Maxwell Chambers for issuing this proclamation. Yes, we do give thanks. This is the 135th year of Marcus Garvey's being with us, you know, from the day he came into the creation. And um, this is our 18th year hosting this event. So we give thanks and look forward to at least take it to the 20th year. And then we can hand it off to
to, to the younger generation to continue the legacy. See? Yeah, man. Younger ones, get ready. Love. So when we say we don't have an excuse to not know the truth, you see what we mean? There's no excuse anymore, you know what I mean? It's been so long, 18 years, Roots Foundation been doing this. And you know how long I've been with them, Jabulani? Since 2007? So I got 15 out of that 18, I missed three years, but it's okay. We're gonna keep pushing. And indeed, the younger generation, we owe you, and we're gonna make sure that you continue this legacy because this is part of you. So we want you all to know that. Wanna give thanks to, yes. Just an interruption. We have three of our long-standing um, sponsors and support, supporters in the house. I'd like them to be acknowledged. Dr. Tomlinson, stand please. Dr. Hall. Yeah. Umber Lion. No, yeah. man, Lion. That's it. That's it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know, when I, get, when I get the phone call every year about this day is coming up, I'm so excited not only to be amongst everyone, but a secret is I really enjoy meeting and watching the Council General, <laughs> Roderick <laughs> Oliver Mayor. Yes, just as you get up, we was here, we was here. I, I got you. I am derelict in my duty, and I'm, <laughs> my bad. No, no, I got Oliver you. Mayor, without him, this wouldn't be possible. That's yeah. right, that's right. <laughs> From the from supporter of Roots Foundation yes. and what we do. Oliver, give that. That wasn't rehearsed, by the way. <laughs> That's just hard to call. That's just hard to call. I remember the first time I saw you and now uh, you was doing this scat thingy. And I said, oh, he has rhythm too. He governs and he has rhythm. I love it. I love it. And um, so I want to thank you. Definitely on behalf of all the people, though I'm not from Jamaica, but I tell you sometimes I get accused of being a Jamaican, so we can go on, we can go on, <laughs> we can go on. So on that note, I'm going to take the moment right now to call forward Jamaican Council General Roderick Oliver Mayor for an intro. Come on, y'all, make some beautiful noise. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, before we start, I just want to really acknowledge Roots Extravaganza for their sterling work over the years. I mean, many people jump on the bandwagon when it suits them to support our first national hero, but these folks live it year after year. They are the real deal. Let's give them a big round of applause. Jabalani and Priest Doggy. Uh, two years ago, I had the, the good fortune of meeting the daughter-in-law of our first national hero, Mrs. Jean Garvey. And this lady is a powerhouse. When I tell you about a powerhouse, and I had the, up, the privilege of going by her home, getting a history lesson firsthand. And um, she is a prize right here in the community, and I want to just personally recognize her with a big round of applause. <laughs> Our guest speaker is Professor Carolyn Cooper. She's one of my lecturers from the University of the West Indies, so I look forward to hearing her. I want to acknowledge members of the media. I see... Um, my good friend Rupert Francis, Dr. Francis from Super Jams, 
um, and he's also the president of the Jamaica I men of Florida, so I want to acknowledge him. Or, uh, or you won't allow me to sit beside him again after, right? <laughs> Don't want to single out too many members of the media, but of course, humble lion, big up all the time, respect, yeah man, always carrying the message. Now my request of you, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, thank you for coming out. I appreciate each person being here. I was a little worried a couple of minutes ago when I saw the, the turnout, but I'm happy that we're getting the crowd is building. I think it's so important for us to understand the depth of the gentleman we're speaking about today. And um, you know, we, we hail Usain Bolt, fastest of all times a Jamaican. But our first national hero is perhaps the greatest ever in terms of empowering the black race. Our first national hero, right excellent Marcus Mazar Garvey. I don't think I don't think enough has been done to truly recognize him. I've been here now three, three and a half years, and I have been to the Civil Rights Center in Atlanta, and I've been to the Civil Rights Center in Alabama, and I walked through and I quietly observed the tour. Not one mention of Gavi. And I stopped, stopped the tour and I asked a question. I said, how is this even possible? How is this even possible? And the tour guide was a Garveyite, and he, he, he agreed with me. And he said, you know, sir, you make a good point. As of tomorrow, I'm going to include him. But I want to challenge each of us here today that we have a responsibility uh, to protect the legacy of our first national hero. Garvey is arguably the most influential in, and important race leader of the past century yet is probably the least known and least appreciated. And so you'll hear more about um, Garvey this evening, but again, I just want to challenge us and I want to read two of his quotes. If you have no confidence in self, you're twice defeated in the race of life. We, we should be, as I said, we should be just reciting together, right? With confidence, you have won even before you have started. What a powerful quote, right? And then, the second quote I want to mention, we're going to emancipate ourselves from mental slavery because whilst others might free the body, none but ourselves can free our minds. I think ultimately Garvey stood up for the entire mankind to be the best version of ourselves wherever we are in life. And his message is for the entire world. And his message is timeless. God created each of us a special individuals, and each of us deserve to unearth that God-given talent that we have, and not to be hindered by race, class, creed, or color. We have to free ourselves at all times, and none but ourselves can free our minds. And today I ask each of us to become evangelists, to, to, well, I know I'm speaking to evangelists already, speaking to the chorus, but let us continue to spread the message of our first national hero, Right Excellence, Marcus Mazar Garvey. Can we give a big, big round of applause to our first national hero? Thank you.